today is Tuesday, August 24th, 2021. I'm Secretary of State Trey Harkett, and today we'll be discussing the Tennessee Quarterly Business Economic Indicators Report. This report continues to be published through a partnership between my office and Dr. Bill Fox at the University of Tennessee. The report offers a snapshot of the state's economy based on the business data collected from our office's Division of Business Services. Let me begin by making some key observations from the report. New business filings in the second quarter of 2021 grew, grew a remarkable 61.6% from second quarter filings in 2020. This marks the second quarter in a row where Tennessee broke the previous record of year-over-year gain in the 28-year history of the data being collected. Second point I'd like to make is 70,118 businesses filed over the past year and 19,983 entities filed in the second quarter of 2021 the highest quarterly total ever recorded. The second quarter of 2021 is the fourth straight quarter where new establishments grew by over 30% from the prior year quarter. This level of growth is roughly two to four times larger than strong quarters in the past. Typically, growth in business filings leads to growth in jobs, personal income, and state revenue. Shelby County had the largest number of new filings, followed by Davidson, Knox, and Hamilton counties. These Four most populous counties account for 48.9% of new filings statewide. Tennessee's June unemployment rate, which is 4.9%, continues to decline from its pandemic high 15.8% and remains below the national rate of 5.4%. In June, employment in Tennessee grew by 22,100 jobs, but total employment remained below the pre-pandemic peak in February of 2020. We'll take questions shortly, but now I'm going to turn things over to Dr. Fox. Dr. Fox. Mr. Secretary, thank you very much. Certainly my pleasure to be with everyone today. And, and these are, as the Secretary just said, extraordinary numbers. Uh, as he noted, the most recent quarter was the most uh, new filings ever in the history of the data. But, but you see even more when you look at the entire year to get a perspective on it. Over 70,000 uh, new filings in the past year ending in the second quarter. Now, you, you think, okay, that's just a response back to uh, COVID and the shutdowns of last year. But in fact, la last year, so ending in the second quarter of 20, we had 47,000. The year before that, so no COVID, this is just in the middle of a, of a long, continuous economic growth period. We had uh, almost 45,000. I mean, this is massively more than Tennessee has seen, and at rates that continue to grow uh, quarter by quarter. And, and, you know, like some other indicators in the economy, it's showing real strength and, and I think a, a lot of hope for where the economy is going in the long term. As the Secretary noted, there have been a lot of those initial filings in in the four big counties, uh, but they're only up about 21 percent. Now, Mr. Secretary, I would normally think 21 percent, what an extraordinary number, but I'll remind you that the state average is over 60 percent. And what that tells you is that where we really saw the growth was outside the four key um, counties. Indeed, if you just kind of put it all together, more than double the number of initial filings for new businesses outside those four core counties. And so extraordinary growth spread throughout much of Tennessee. As the Secretary said, we're, we're making good progress on the unemployment front. Uh, the rate has dropped. We recently actually released the, the July number, and it's at 4.7. And, and, you know, the unemployment rate is still high relative to, to right before COVID, but it's come down uh, 10% from the peaks that we were at last year. And so very good news there. And of course, finally, on the tax front, another indicator of strength, uh, taxes in Tennessee uh, were remarkable last fiscal year. Uh, you know, we now have seen uh, all of last year and, and uh, overall growth for the years, almost 14%. And just, you know, it, it signifies uh, all the federal money, frankly, that's been given to people and, and they spend it and they spend it on sales taxable items. And, and indeed, again, if you compare us pre COVID, the growth rate in sales tax revenue across almost every category has been at, at super high levels. So, so you know, we are sitting with a few, um, you know, 
60,000 or so fewer workers uh, than we had uh, 65,000 than we had before COVID. But all the other indicators are a strongly um, uh, performing Tennessee economy. And even on the employment front, we've made great gains over the last year. Mr. Secretary, there's some comments. I tell you, that's the fastest two minutes in sports right there, Bill. <laughs> that was the two minute, the two minute offense. So, okay, good deal. Well, Dr. Fox, I just continue to appreciate the collaboration that uh, we have with your office and not only this, but other endeavors as well, as, and especially as we prepare for future presentations um, involving uh, more in depth data. So, just appreciate your leadership, what you mean to us. And um, and appreciate the press being on the call and helping us share the good news uh, about our state's economy. Yeah, Mr. Secretary, thank you for the kind words. And and, uh, again, we appreciate the chance to work with you. And and, and again, it's always wonderful to be able to have a conversation where we're talking about such uh, great outcomes for Tennessee. And, and, you know, this has got to be a challenge for your office. Uh, You know, it sort of makes me think of the reverse of what was happening to the unemployment insurance system a year ago. You know, when we were had this crush on the Department of Labor with so much growth. Well, this is that was the bad news side. This is the good news side. And and this has got to be a lot of work for your office. And so congratulations to everyone who's who's uh, making this all come together. All right. Well, Julia, let's let's finish it up and uh, we'll talk to everybody next quarter. Thank you.